Frick. Let's go! Alright. Warm up, warm up. I eat pizza, I eat pizza. Salmonella. Hey kids, hey. let me talk to you about dog breeding. Nowadays, dogs what? are mostly around just to be a cute companion, Oh, oh right? they didn't breed. So okay. breeding has gone from functionality to cuteness. Ow. And that's fine, as long as it stays within the bounds of nature. Ow. But that's not enough for today's breeder. Nope. So, how do you make a dog cuter? Apparently, by giving it disgusting genetic deformity. <laughs> and chances are, you, the listener, agree with that. Yeah. You just don't know you do. Let me show you what I mean. See this? This is a relatively normal dog. It Notice is. the snout. But the floppy ears are not good. The eyes, the shape of the head, not too far gone from the wolves that today's dogs come from. Now let me take you through some other breeds. First is the Bull Terrier. 100 years ago, still look pretty normal, kinda, right? Yeah, it looks now jacked. here's today's yeah. version. Oh! Jesus, who needs snouts, right? Let's just give it a long, continue. It looks like someone just called the front half of his face. And then someone, it looks like someone took paper mache to a barrel. It was a boomerang shaped head with oh two tiny holes frick. at the end. Seriously, it looks like Toucan Sam is trying to fit inside a dog <laughs> costume. <laughs> and look at its eyes. They're permanently pointed up at the sky as true. if to say, God, why did you let me become this? <laughs> Please kill me. Do you guys remember Spuds McKenzie, the old Bud Light mascot? Yeah. Well, I just realized why they chose a bull terrier of all dogs. Why? It's because he looked like his mom drank nothing but Bud Light for her entire <laughs> pregnancy. Next up is the pug. I'll probably no. get some hate for this one, but I don't care. They've been bred specifically to look like they've been- I feel so bad for pugs. They look like they got sandwiched between two buses. And smashed in the goddamn face with a frying pan. Yep. And because of this, because of their fact that their skull is shaped like a fucking tuna can, they can <laughs> barely breathe their whole lives. I know. Ever been around a pug? Constantly, no matter the temperature or the weather, they sit there going, gah, 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 It's gah, so gah. sad. And people think this shit is cute. If my baby came out with a flat nose, hair lip, cylindrical head, and no neck going, gah, That'd be Voldemort. I'd be like, Jesus fuck, put it back in. It's clearly not done yet. <laughs> Next is the dachshund. Now there is no excuse for this one. The head's fine, right? But the body, good God. It's got a torso shaped like a goddamn Dude, doorstop with those- Yeah, dogs, the whenever, dogs whenever, are whenever, 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 They're so microscopic and chunky. It's crazy. It looks like it's like a midget's legs put on an effing hot dog. It's crazy. Pointless legs just kind of stapled on. Now it's been a little while since I reminded you what a normal- It's the closest thing we have to a snake that's a dog well, dog looks like so here now what? let me go into photoshop real quick and do all the changes necessary to make this dog look like a dachshund look at that that's not okay why <laughs> even have legs at this point might as well just keep going until it's just a drumstick from the neck down i like it and i like no it and there's no reason it's just one day someone was like well, people like dogs and people like ferrets so why don't we make some chimera abomination halfway in between the two and see what happens my least favorite breed though out of all of them it's oh, just dog. straight up fucked in every way a testament to humankind's never ending corruption of the natural oh, world i'm talking about the chihuahua it's no! like somebody Stop! took a normal dog Stop! and that's too far. You are not about to insult chihuahuas on my domain. You frick. You don't insult my little rat. No, it's too far. That's too far. What do you say, chat? Chihuahuas are fine. They're not that deformed. They're just tiny. They're just really small. Okay? That's not that fault. They may be ugly, but they're also cute. They may be gross, but they're not deformed. They're just small. Right? boiled away every aspect except for anger and neuroticism, I leaving mean, this tiny hell creature behind. And this is one of the nicer pictures I could find. Take whenever, a look at whenever, this. Whenever Someone called- I know, I know, chat, I know, I know. But the thing is, they may be annoying, but they're still animals. Like, the, at least they're not gonna follow her from running a mile like a pug, okay? At least it doesn't look like effing Toucan Sam is living inside of it, ready to burst forth at a moment's notice like a Five Nights at Freddy's character. All a priest, and we let these things inhabit our homes. This poor woman. Is it bad that that looks cute to me? Gonna wake up with her fucking nose chewed off and just be like, oh, Mr. Wiggles was whenever, a little whenever, 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 whenever. Meanwhile, the dogs are sitting there like, bloodlust. The only time they're not being needlessly aggressive towards people, it's when they're off pissing, shitting, and vomiting all over their surroundings. They do. And you would think such a small dog would at least produce. Why? Why did they just inject everything from every orifice constantly? It's too real. 
most manageable waste, but much like the creature itself, the small things it does- Oh, half the time they take a dump, it's got like- it's just like- it's pure liquid, and there's like a string in it. It's just so disgusting. It's just like, what were they eating? The couch? It's spell so are straight gross. up toxic. It's like some of the <laughs> so... Chihuahua's pent up hatred for the mortal plane manifests itself in every dump it's it takes. So I would gross. rather clean up a full grown man's shit from my floor <laughs> than wipe up the septic nightmare that is Chihuahua squirts. True. The only good thing about owning True. a Chihuahua is that if it ever gets rabies, it'll be fine because you won't be able to tell the goddamn difference. It'll still be sitting there, hurl, 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 <laughs> business as usual. So that's my little rant about the monstrosities that live right beneath our noses. So I Basically, chihuahuas are just dogs that have conquered rabies. Think about that. I'm Salmonella, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. If rabies was a dog. <laughs> yeah, but they're cute when they're mad. I don't know. They're not dogs. They are dogs! They are. I didn't finish my pizza at all, chat. One more.